Now, finally today, she has just got off the train and hot-footed it to our studio here in Edinburgh. She is the genre-defying, masterful sitar player, composer and activist Anushka Shankar. She was the first Indian woman to be nominated for a Grammy Award. She has since bagged nine nominations and counting, and she's worked with musicians including Sting, Lenny Kravitz, Herbie Hancock and her half-sister Nora Jones. Let's hear them joining forces in a flavour of Traces of You. music, those voices, just a sense of traces of you with Anushka Shankar and her half-sister Nora Jones. Anushka plays the Festival Theatre with a new quintet. It's part of Edinburgh International Festival on Sunday. But guess what? She arrived today. She just got off the train in Edinburgh and she's come to see us here in the studio. It's lovely to hear you in my ears and also to see you in front of me, Anushka. How are you? I'm really well, thanks. Thank you so much for uh, getting off the train and coming straight here. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's good to be here. It's really lovely to see you. And uh, you've got your gig on Sunday night. That's it's right. your third time at Edinburgh International Festival. You're a veteran. Does that make a veteran? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does now. What does it mean to you to, to be coming back? And what does Edinburgh mean to you? Is it a place you visited a lot in the past? I've, I mean, I've been here three times, actually, yeah. for the three times I've performed at the festival. And each time it's been memorable. You know, the city, you just come out of the train station and it's beautiful straight away. Yeah. And it, yeah, so it's just always wonderful to show so up. So lively and at this atmosphere. time of year. The yeah. atmosphere is incredible. Yeah, there's nothing like it. I mean, I don't know if you no. walk down the Royal Mail, the, uh, the studio here is just off it. And it's just so busy. <laughs> I have to say that doesn't always work in its favour. It was pouring with rain when I was walking down earlier and you cannot manage to navigate all the umbrellas. Yeah, I can imagine. That's not you want to do work. your local person speed walk and that's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> I took to the road, I'm not going to lie. Um, so what are you bringing and who are you bringing with you this time to, to Sunday night, this performance and who's with you? Yeah, I'm playing with some musicians who just basically really inspire me. Um, I formed this band in between albums uh, last winter when I was going to tour India and just basically cherry picked people I really loved and just had wanted to work with Best for ages. Way. And everyone was free and so we did the India tour and then we had such a great time that now they're they're doing the whole next year with me. And so the incredible Sarathi Korwar, who's a composer, percussionist, um, Arun Ghosh, who's a jazz um, clarinetist and composer, Tom Farmer, my favourite upright bassist, and um, Pratap Ramachandra playing a whole slew of Carnatic percussion instruments. So it's a kind of eclectic yeah. instrumentation, which is something I love to do. Yeah, and with that, we can just travel in many different directions and they're all incredible improvisers. So we can really travel together in a really free way. It's beautiful. Yeah, an adventure for everyone on exactly. stage and off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're going to be playing some older music, but also some new yeah, music. Yeah, I mean, as I'm well. a big fan of playing old music in new ways. As yeah, well. even even when it's the time of that album, I kind of bristle at just reproducing what's Quite. on the record. So it's lovely to get to really pull things apart and play them with people who can improvise and travel. So it's a bit more of that kind of very very different versions of things that you'll never hear again yeah. that way. And um, and playing a little bit of new music from from my forthcoming mini album. Yeah, well. so you have a, a new mini album, Chapter One. Forever, for now, it's coming out in October. <laughs> I love the permanence and the impermanence yes. of that title. <laughs> I think it's just my endless indecisiveness about everything. <laughs> but it also just really struck me one day that like even everything we think is forever, you have to think of certain things as forever in order to like have the conviction that That's you so need. That's so true, yeah. But it only ever is for now. Yeah. And when that made sense to me one day, I just thought, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> That's it, it's as simple as yeah, that. But still chapter one, so quite is what next? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the, it's, the, it's the beginning point as well. And also it very much establishes that idea of, um, of, of, of who knows what's quite going to happen on the yeah. stage as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it was for me coming out of the pandemic, I really just didn't feel like making music the same way I had before. Oh, yeah. I just wasn't in the same place. And um, what freed me was stopping thinking in that conventional album cycle mm -hmm. and just taking it down into these mini albums where I'm working with a different producer for every few songs. Yeah. And um, and so that's kind of why chapter one. Yeah. There will be a chapter two and a three. Quite so. exactly. More installments and we can't wait for those. There's a, a real reflective quality on the record and there's a track called what will we remember mm. in that spirit of looking back can you give us a sense of your childhood and your musical upbringing your father uh, Ravi Shankar passed his sitar virtuosity <laughs> onto you yeah I mean I did uh, get given in a way this musical form uh, mm. through growing up around it and being immersed in it from a really early age and then outside of just being in the atmosphere I then got given it directly once I said yeah. I wanted to learn and I, I got past it in the very traditional guru shishya relationship mm. the, the the guru and disciple relationship that's part of our Indian classical music heritage which is very beautiful and very unique you learn everything by ear from a teacher through this process of transmission and osmosis mm. 
Mm. So it's intense, you know, and it's, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to re- replicate and explain, but, um, you know, it, it's very central to my life, of course. Just even physically, the sitar is a, is a, is a, is a quite a large instrument. I'm thinking yes. about you as quite a little kid. Yeah. When did you feel connected to it? Well, I, it took me years, to be honest. Did it? I mean, yeah. not because of the size of it. I mean, I did, to be fair, have a half-size sitar, okay. which everyone called my baby sitar. Ha, 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 you know? <laughs> um, and then a three-quarter size. And, <laughs> yeah. and um, so, so size-wise, it was okay. But I think something about the heritage of it, yes. the symbolism, of it, mm. what it meant, it meant that it was bigger than itself as well. Quite. And I found it quite intimidating, even though I loved the music. Mm. So it took me years of like playing and having to really set aside a lot of those notions in my head and just realize, right, I need to have a direct and kind of intimate relationship with this music and this this uh, instrument if yeah. I'm going to play it. And and just that that took me time. That's both completely connected to it, but also quite free of it as yes, well. You exactly. have to move in your own way. Well, your father, Ravi, we mentioned him there, was famously a huge influence on the Beatles, among so many other musicians. <laughs> there was a lovely moment of coming full circle when you collaborated with Milos Karadlic a few years back. Let's have a reminder of that. Just a sense there. We know it. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Milos Karadlic and Anushka Shankar going back to the Beatles and Ravi and so much other music beyond. You have explored so many different musical genres in your work. You mentioned the very um, important Indian classical Mm -hmm. rooting of your practice in your art, but there's also been electronic music, contemporary, classical, acoustic. You've collaborated with so many people. Do you thrive in that environment? I thrive in that environment. And it's also honest to who I am and the kind of life I've lived. I think so much of us are broader than, than we paint or box each other and Mm. having lived across three continents growing up and growing up in a mix of cultures the kind of music I write and make is a product of who I am yeah it's exactly that and to be celebrated in all of its myriad facets (laughs) and counting lots more to come we're going to play your new single now Anushka Shankar before you leave us can you tell us a little bit about it it's called Stolen Moments Mm. and again it sounds like that's treasuring quiet things the fleeting magic in our day to day. You're probably not going to have a lot of that over the next couple of days in Edinburgh and Festival. Well, time. I'm going to try and catch as many <laughs> stolen moments as I can. <laughs> but it is that notion, yeah. isn't it? Of the it quiet is that. Things I'm used it better than I ever could. But it's just that any moment can be profound if we really stop to take it in and, and feel the wholeness of that moment. And that that can be a paradise right there, you know, even in the middle of some other quite mundane or, or maybe difficult time, mm. you know. And um, I worked on this with my producer, Aru Jaftab, who is a dear friend and an incredible, you know, singer and, and composer. And she, I, I turned to her because I wanted a little help and support in creating more space mm. and silence around me. By, by nature, I tend to be like a fast talker. I fill up silences, you know, even yeah. in my music. And and I've, I love the space and expansiveness she brought to it as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, Anishka Shankar, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for coming straight from the train. Mm. Have a fab time at Edinburgh International Festival. Thank Sunday you. night. Anishka Shankar is live at the Festival Theatre. Sunday as part of Edinburgh International Festival. A new mini album, Chapter One, Forever, For Now, is out on the 6th of October. The single's taken from it. It's called Stolen Moments. It's out now. Just a sense of stolen moments. The new single from Anushka Shankar. Her new album, Chapter One, Forever, For Now. A mini-album is out in October and she's at Edinburgh International Festival on Sunday night.